Dear Model Railway Enthusiasts, Welcome to our new video. This time it's a slightly different kind of video. Today I'd like to address and answer the questions you have been asking up to now regarding our previous videos. The first question is from Marcus Brandt. He asks, Why is no test track put out for display when you sell your vehicles at trade fairs? To that, I can only say, if you purchase a vehicle directly from us at the Rocco Fleischmann stand, we always have a test track with us for each of the three gauges, N, TT and HO. We also provide them in analog and digital versions. That means you can always test any vehicles you purchase from us. The next question is from Mike Langer and Moritz Liebhauser. Can you use the Z21 for an AC track too, i.e. for the three conductor system, and if so, how do I connect it? Yes, of course, the controller can also be used for the three conductor track. It is multi-protocol enabled. This means that you can also control it with the Motorola protocol. The connection works using the normal track connectors. The two rails are the minus pole and the central conductor is the positive pole. Therefore, the Z21 can also be used for AC tracks. Oliver's Model Barn in HO asks, how do I go about supplying power to two connected oval tracks? If the two oval tracks are connected with each other, then they are also connected electrically. This means that you don't need two separate track power supplies. It depends on the power of your system. If the track ovals each have a line length of 10 meters, then you should provide multiple power supplies, observing the correct polarity as you do so. If you have a lot of trains running on the tracks as well, then you should consider whether you shouldn't use a booster for the second track oval, depending on the mass of the vehicles concerned. Andreas Schultz asks, What should I do if I want to update the controller and keep getting an error message? I think the question has already been answered in the maintenance tool video. The most frequent problem is the firewall. Either an external firewall or sometimes the Windows firewall itself can cause problems, the Windows Defender. You should either deactivate it or authorize access to the maintenance tool in the program so that the maintenance tool can access the Z21. That should solve any problems during an update. Jürgen Hendricks asks, How can you call up functions, for example the F22, i.e. functions over F20 using the multi-mouse? To do this, you require the latest firmware 1.05 for the multi-mouse. Press the shift key twice. When the arrow starts to flash, you're in the third level and can call up functions 21 to 28. Marcel Zillen asks, Is it absolutely necessary to have Rocco tracks for use of the Z21? No, the Z21 will of course also work with Fleischmann or any other track. The only thing you should observe is that the connection track you use, whatever the manufacturer, has no anti-interference capacitor. Apart from that, you can use any track system with the Z21. Kruzek asks, Do I have to purchase the enabling wireless LAN package just to carry out an update for the Z21? No, you can update it without the package. You only really need the wireless LAN package if you want to set up wireless control. However, if you think that the multi-mouse is quite sufficient for you, and that you don't need the wireless LAN or wireless control and you don't want to control your system via tablet, then you can just use the Z21. It will work just as well. Rafi848 asks, When will there be a tutorial where you can learn how to control a system using your PC? This topic has been reserved for a later video. You'll be able to see how the track occupancy sensor is connected and installed in the tracks. However, we won't be producing a large video on the subject of PC control, or at least, this isn't currently planned. Therefore, please have a look at what is offered by the respective software providers. They also have pertinent videos in their portfolios. Castus Cactus asks, Why is the network connector disabled? The answer is relatively simple. In the star set, the network connector is the controller, if the controller were always to be enabled, the star sets would cost approximately 50 euros more to purchase. But some customers don't want to use the wireless LAN and therefore don't want to pay more. For this reason, we decided to disable the network connector. We sell the wireless LAN package separately and interested customers can thus purchase the upgrade. This has the advantage that you have the controller from the star set and, if you want wireless control, you don't have to purchase a new controller but rather upgrade, retrofit the existing one with the wireless LAN package. 
and those who don't require the wireless LAN and are quite happy with a cable mouse don't have to purchase the wireless LAN package. Andy's Trains and More asks, Why is the wireless LAN router so complex to configure? You don't have to configure the wireless LAN router at all. The wireless LAN router is preset by us. All the IP addresses are pre-configured. Connect the LAN cable, connect the network cable, and you can use the router immediately. Sorry, but I can't see any faults on the router itself. Bern Zimmerman states, this complex fiddling around isn't going to impress an analog model railway enthusiast like myself. It's not really complex at all. Basically, it's a plug-and-play system, as long as you are content with the Z21 and the mouse. Unpack the Z21, connect the mouse, connect the power supply unit, connect the track, and you're done. The same applies for the wireless LAN package. OK, the controller has to be enabled first, but if you don't require wireless LAN, then you don't have to enable it. One final word to all those asking themselves whether there is an alternative to enabling. There is indeed. The Black Z21 by Rocco and Fleischmann. This is always enabled and includes wireless LAN. It doesn't have to be purchased in the star set. You can purchase the Black Z21 on which everything is already enabled and pre-configured separately. You are welcome to keep posting questions under the videos. As you can see, we read your queries and respond to them. So keep up the comments. Look forward to the next video and thank you for watching.